Good morning, Oak Park School. Today is Thursday, April 7th, 2022. Our special student guests for this morning news are Dylan. At this time, would you please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to a republic for which is sail one nation under God, invisible liberty and justice for all. Would you please remain standing for our Panther Pledge? Today I will be respectful on task, accepting and responsible. I'm an Oprah Panther. Hear me roar! You may be seated. Thanks for helping out this morning. We will now take some time to pause for a moment of silence. Use this time to allow, to slow down, relax, and reflect on your day ahead. The Literacy Lab is excited to share their newest school-wide project, a book by classes from Oak Park on Kindness. Grab your lab coats and let's ch check it out. Good morning, friends, and welcome to the Literacy Lab. I'm Patty Manson. And I'm Brandi Flea. And, and we're, we're your reading, reading interventionist. interventionist. We have a new book to share with you today. This is our school-wide publishing effort and it has arrived. The Kindness Book is here and wait until you see all the beautiful work that everyone contributed. This morning our guests will be students and staff who will be reading their class contributions or will be reading on the behalf of another class. Go ahead. Today we have Dylan Looper back in the studio and Dylan is going to share a few contributions from the Kindness Book. Dylan is going to be reading the poem from Ms. Adams' class. Take it away, Dylan. This is a haiku poem from Miss Adams' class. Positivity, love and good needs, helpful, ki helpful kind words. Thank you, everyone. And Dylan's now going to read to us an excerpt from the contribution that Miss Dizadic made along with the middle school friends who helped out in the classroom. Take it away, Dylan. My buddies and I show kindness by reading books together together. Sometimes we even match bows in our hair. We love to color and draw. Thanks so much, oh, nice. Dylan. That was often awful. That was really nice, wasn't it? <laughs> that was great, Dylan. Awfully nice. <laughs> Awfully nice of you. Thanks for volunteering yet again today. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Looper. You're welcome. This book will be on display in the Media Center along with an instruction sheet for online ordering by staff and families. Please enjoy these readings and don't forget to stop by the media to see the kindness book. We will close things out this morning with our Throwback Thursday, a time where we highlight a famous event that happened on this day in history. On this day in 1969, the internet was born. For many of us, we couldn't imagine the world without the internet. We shop, do research, watch movies, write emails, and so much more. On April 7, 1969, published documents of the first request for comments, RFC paid the way for the birth of the internet. According to computer scientist Joseph Lidecker, the original aim was to create a network of computers connected to one another by wide band communication lines. Providing the functions of present day libraries together with anticipated advances in information storage and re receival, 
I wonder if they could have ever imagined back then just how much the internet would transform our world to this day. We hope you have a great day, Panthers, and like always, continue to roar.